My name is Justin McDougall. I'm here on behalf of the Apprenticeship Program of the Builders Association in North Central Florida. Uh, we're here at an NCCER accredited training site at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, today we're going to talk about some of the tools, that hand tools that you'll see on the job site. Um, starting over to my left, uh, we have saws, two different types of saws. This first one's a hand saw, the second one is a hacksaw. This is a cutaway saw that's used for, for wood. And this saw is typically mostly used for, for metal. You get over here, uh, we get into some of the wrenches. You have fixed wrenches. This is, happens to be a 3 8 wrench. It has an open and a closed end. You have adjustable wrench here. These are also known as crescent wrenches. Over here, you have a ratchet with a socket. These also have controls on the back. So you have reverse, and then you're going to tighten a, a bolt. Over here, we have some screwdrivers. We have a few different types of screwdrivers, and there's, there's several different types of screwdrivers. This is a slotted screwdriver here. Uh, we have a Phillips screwdriver here, and we have a torque head over here. Back here, we have some pliers, a few different types of pliers that you would see. This is known as, typically called as vice grips, but it's actually a locking plier. Um, we have needle nose pliers. We have adjustable pliers, and then we have some tongue and groove pliers, also known um, as channel locks. Over here, we have some chisels. Okay, these are chisels. Um, these are used for chiseling wood. This is still a slotted screwdriver. This is not used for chiseling wood. Okay. And in front of that, we have a utility knife with a blade. There's two types of blades that come with this. There's a hook blade for some of the uh, mostly used for roofing, and then there's a flat blade that's used for basically everything else. Uh, most, one of the most important tools on the job site and one of the most important things for you to understand and know how to read is going to be a tape measure. To the right of that, we have two different types of levels. This is just a smaller level. It's also known as a torpedo level. And then next to that, we have a, um, we have a larger level used, and these go different sizes. You can have four-foot levels, six-foot levels, eight-foot levels laser levels, there's a lot of different types of levels that you would see on a job site. Next to that is some hammers. First here you have a ball pin hammer. This is basically used mostly for people that work with metal, sheet work, uh, sheet metal workers, people that do fabrications, uh, that would be used for that. This is a 20 ounce hammer. This would be used more for your finish um, nailing. See how it has a flat end there? That's so it doesn't uh, rough up wood and put, you know, nasty marks and things that somebody's going to actually see at the end. Um, this is a framing hammer and you see on the end of that where it's got the waffle in. Okay. That's to get grip on that hammer. So this is for more so like with your rough framing and things where you're banging nails in that are going to be covered up and no one's going to see. Next to that, we have, um, uh, some clamps, two different types of clamps. This is just a squeeze clamp that'll squeeze um, if you had some kind of material you're trying to hold together, whether it's glued or if you're cutting something. This is typically a glue clamp. And these are used a lot of times, particularly to glue together different types of wood. Okay. All right. Another um, important tool, um, especially for carpenters, is a speed square. Uh, it's very important that you know how to read and use this tool. Um, it's very effective in that field. Um, another really effective tool for carpenters would be um, the framing square. Um, similar thing, just making sure that you know exactly what these numbers mean and how to use it.